September 21st, you know, Russia announced mobilization. Oh my gosh. It was terrible and funny at the same time. Circumstances was so un unbelievable, crazy. And now he is here in Tibet. You know, uh -huh. it was like a, like a magic, like, a, I don't know, fairy tale. Uh, palms, sea, sand, the weather, sun, so perfect. Then they realized that school exams, uh, Serbian language and so on, like usual routine. And now they decided that, okay, not bad, not bad. I'm 39. I'm from Russia. Last five years, I was living in St. Petersburg. Now I'm in Montenegro, in Tivat. I think that I can say that originally I'm from Yaroslav. It's in the middle of uh, our uh, beautiful country, Russia, not far away from Moscow. Then in the end of the 2017, I decided to move to St. Petersburg. And live, uh, last five years, I was living there with two kids, usually with my kids. To so St. Petersburg with my kids, to Montenegro with my kids, yes. And during my life, I've moved, I think, something about 30 times. Oh my gosh, 30 times, you mean? Yeah, yes, I mean 30 times, but um, when you... <laughs> 30 times, oh my God. No, uh, big moves, it's like from one town to another. It was from Minsk to Rybinsk, from Rybinsk uh, to Yaroslavl, from Yaroslavl to St. Petersburg, and from, and from St. Petersburg to Tivat. That's mm -hmm. all. Yeah, that's a lot still, like for for some yeah. people. <laughs> yeah. Uh huh. So so if you compare moving from a city to city uh, to your move now, like which one was easier for you, and also in terms of like decision, which one took longer? Actually, I don't know. Maybe the most difficult was to make a decision leave my country so first of all it's a difficult decision in general for people uh, i know it on my own even though i did immigrate to canada it was a complex process and i moved a couple of cities but still um i think to make a decision even as a single person it's hard sometimes right because you don't don't know what will be there you know and it depends but also uh, timing wise in terms of astrology for those who don't know that there are certain periods of time which are better and for example if you, especially if you're immigrating and in, on the Mercury retrograde it's almost guaranteed that you will go back to that country for the documents or whatever Mercury, Mercury related things and for some people it's okay because they are used to doing that on Mercury retrograde states for example. <laughs> it depends so is, there's no like a um, unique recipe for that maybe like briefly in terms of documents like uh was for you was it as you expected or it was you know worse better or overall about documents when, yes when you were moving to montenegro i didn't expect anything uh -huh. which is a good mindset right to have. yes absolutely nothing i just uh, took with myself all this all all my documents you know everything so it was a bag with documents mm, that's all and then i try to make a temporary permission for living here mm -hmm. it was it was not very easy but not very difficult okay. not very expensive but not very cheap and not very fast and not very slow it was like so because it's okay it, technically montenegro is one of the easier countries to immigrate yes. right so when you move there, do they actually know that you want to live there or you tell them, that I'm just visiting and then you stay, like like some people do in other countries? Uh, in Montenegro, when you cross the line, they didn't ask me. Mm -hmm. Nothing. Welcome oh, to So Montenegro. you don't even need any visa there? Like, is it Russian speaking? Yes. Oh, yes. Russian citizen. Hmm, I didn't know. <laughs> some kind of visa is done on the no, spot no oh wow no. can they travel to russia that easily as well or yes not without now, maybe <laughs> yes no, not now maybe yeah but without visas mm. so it's kind of comparable to turkey i guess right like uh yes we used to have that 
Okay. So we, st we started to speak with you about Montenegro, Turkey and Georgia um, because uh, at that moment I didn't have visas. Schengen yeah, visas. yeah, yeah. And in, in general... So now, yes, now I have. They are part of Schengen and so it's basically... They, they are not. Oh, they are not? Not, not. Montenegro oh. is uh, non... Uh, they, you don't need visa here. You, you. I mean, if you are from Russia, Belarus, I don't remember. Hmm. From so Ukraine, even for work Ukraine. permit, you don't need anything special. No, uh -huh. no, 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 no. No, we just uh, say about permission to stay here, just like a tourist. Oh, okay. If you want, if yeah, you want sure. to work from yes, if you want to work from here or live here during long time, you should have a temporary permission for living and for working and so on, and so on. So yes, it's another conversation. Are they very very selective who they allow? to come into country you know to work there or i don't i don't i don't think so mm -hmm. but then you applied for schengen to be able to travel right around uh if you want to travel yes you should have schengen i have schengen from russia oh okay for a few yeah. years right to... yes right okay oh that's, that was easier because i remember you flew through some other place right you flew not directly but through was it belgrade or or uh, no uh, yeah yeah F through uh through belgrade yes right uh, because i have saint petersburg belgrade belgrade uh Tivat. uh that was my journey and from here i uh, was uh, fly uh, i had fly to budapest mm -hmm. for my journey just running there Mm -hmm. Budapest and back, so it's very easy when you have visas. Mm -hmm. Okay, Croatia, so, Croatia, our neighbors. Yeah, yeah, very good. Maybe a question uh, about: uh, Is there any website where people can go and read more on the procedure? Of like, can you recommend a couple of? It's places? a Montenegro no website. Sorry, no website. it's a Montenegro <laughs> no. You. Uh, <laughs> We, we, we don't have here any common resource with all the information about this country. No, no. So people have to dig in. The yes, people have sources. to dig in, have to read a lot of chats in Telegram, try to find information from here, from here, step by step and so on. Mm -hmm. no. So maybe people will start contacting you with consultations, <laughs> answering questions. What's your rate for that? Uh, we'll calculate a group we'll talk later okay yes, yes, we'll talk later. <laughs> we are in the car so we we are driving somewhere and the kids suddenly say, said, said to me okay mom we like this country <laughs> what why now what's going on well i'm i'm glad to hear it because I mean, you never know how kids will, would adapt, right? So it's kind of hard to look into everything, right? Because it, it really depends, like, what they do, like, what surroundings are. For my uh, older daughter, it was um, maybe easier to move. How old is she now? Uh, now 14. Oh, okay. Now I mean, 14. she's... Yes. So... Uh, so my son is 11 now. And it was a bit difficult for him because um, he likes a lot his cousin and uh, he wants cousins, yes. And uh, he wants uh, to see them more often, to be with them. But um, they said to me, okay, good adventure, let's go. Like an adventure, you know, adventure, good. And when... Um, they also I didn't don't. like, I remember you mentioned that they didn't like that um, many companies are moving out of Russia, right? Including some kind of games or whatever. So, you know, kids <laughs> yeah, yeah. have their own perspective, right? But here's the point there, right? They kind of felt maybe that, okay, so that doesn't look good. Um, it's it's tragic, was, of course, yeah. in a way, but uh, yeah. When I doubt, when I doubt in the summer, move or not, what to do, my older daughter said to me, Mom, uh, you should try because if you will not, it will be your mistake, mm -hmm. and uh, and you will have regrets about this and so on. And I, okay, you're absolutely right. I should try, 
it's difficult for them here really difficult the because language, let's explain you, why right like because uh i think it's also school, the language right yes it's a language new school and new subjects in school ah. on new language what no I, I mean to be honest like i would say language of montenegro what's the name of it Trnogorski. okay so it's Trnogorski. so basically yes no, actually actually it's serbish serbish serbian 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 language uh, but they uh, call him Trnogorski. do they like the language in general because i think it's hard to even make yourself to learn when you like i couldn't learn german properly because uh, i just felt bit, like it's not my language right so i don't know um serbian language is very similar um with russian and with ukrainian and oh. with the russian languages it's like a mix mm. but um, it's a bit rude rude language you know they they speak like i see yeah, yeah. <laughs> Ola, uh, so are there any international schools like in general in terms of schools like i thought that it's probably expensive yes. right, to to be an international yes. school. They, of for, of in terms course. of english like did they speak english yes or? yes here is the um here are a lot of uh, not a lot of okay uh here are <laughs> international schools russian schools but yes you should you should pay for the for this yeah, yeah. And, so how much would I, it... I said i'm sorry i'm a single man i have no money Sirnagorska Shkola. Туда. That's all. So um, it was like um, my decision. I yeah, decided yeah, that sure. if you if you if you want to be integrated, you should be uh, in this community. You should speak with the local people. You should uh, try to be a friends with the local uh, kids. I don't know. You should try. So What's they're this? going yeah. to Cernogorsky. What's the situation in general with uh, English or any other like foreign language in the country? Like, do people speak it, both adults and... Uh, yes, yes, kids? yes. Uh, I have no problems here with English. I think uh, actually everyone speaks English here. Oh, okay. That's great. Yeah. Yeah, because, you know, um, I, I think that in Europe, the same situation, for example, when you have, uh, when you want to watch a movie in... Um, cinema I'm, I'm sorry uh, oh, when you want, want to, yes when you want to watch a movie and you go somewhere there are no translations oh, only subtitles oh gosh, I forgot about that oh, I don't subtitles. watch movies so or... for example yes I watched you... uh, I watched new avatar on English with Serbian subtitles mm. so what I couldn't understand on English for example too fast or something about accent so I read, I read on service. So you, you yourself already are pretty uh, good in terms of not pretty language. good, not pretty good, not pretty good, but uh, a bit, a bit, ah. something uh, in a shop or with another man. Dobardan, uh, kakoste. Because I would expect you to put on uh, English subtitles rather than <laughs> for for a movie, but I, it depends what your kids also, right? Yeah is um are they in general like enthusiastic about learning a foreign language whether serbian i mean serbian we already talked about but english um, say or spanish or something you know the situation uh, for example for my older daughter is very complicated mm -hmm. because uh in russia she was in seventh seventh class uh -huh. and should go and should go to eight and here she went in ninth and ninth is a graduated class oh my god wow so, so yes so she uh, she will pass exams i think in april it's like um middle school you should mm -hmm. pass exams when you graduate from middle school before your high school so uh, one year she should learn language and pass exams on Serbian. That was my concern, you know, when I was choosing uh, 
actually, you know what? Let's let's just uh, go back a little bit and discuss what countries you were choosing between, right? Because uh, we didn't mention. Okay. Yes. Yeah. 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 Between, and then we go between back Georgia, to... Georgia and Montenegro, the two countries. Georgia and there was and also Montenegro. Cyprus. Oh, okay. Cyprus. Cyprus. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. yeah, but it was uh, very fast. No, Cyprus. No. <laughs> well, Cyprus, I thought uh, had an interesting story because you actually got an offer from Cyprus, yeah. a job offer from Cyprus, right? Yeah. So, Olya, I want to ask you in terms of. Uh, grades do, do they have grades uh, in schools like how does it work uh, do they distinguish yes they, they, they yes they have a grades uh, they have uh, different subjects but the attitude of uh, teachers is so kind so polite so uh, i don't know how to say humanistic <laughs> maybe oh wow so, yeah, patient yeah, yes they like they like children mm. here is you know like in india you have a cult of cows here is a cult of children <laughs> well definitely <laughs> not in russia in terms of schools <laughs> yes yes they really they adore kids they do everything for kids so it's a perfect uh, system is it aimed more like um at individual approach or creative or like science like what, what is not science no, absolutely not it, it not uh, it's not about science it's not about deep um, knowledges but it's more about uh to stay people to stay human oh, mm -hmm. yes that's great because try, that's... yes they try to um they try to teach you how to stay human how to love your country how to love each other how to be kind and so on that's amazing Very i think that's that's yeah. how school should be like teaching people skills life skills right it's different uh, you know practical things even because yeah. we've had way too much theory i think which you forget like in one or two years and then i don't know i think i think i think like in russia there is a gap when I studied at least, there was a gap of some kind of very needed, you know, subjects. Yes, they, they are more about sport, about arts, about, I don't know, languages, mm -hmm. not about science. And your daughter, uh, you mentioned that the, she she is even one of the best students, right? <laughs> yes. Uh, she In spite did, of the language difficulty, yes, he did, she did. She did her best, and now she's a very, very, very active and very successful uh, with her studies. Yes. So the language which they are learning, do you think it's applicable to some jobs in the future? Like, is it? I know it's kind of hard for them to to do it now, but will it? later pay off you think in general i th i think that yes it, it might be um yeah it might be useful because in croatia in uh, bosnia in serbia uh here in montenegro is the same language hmm. with a uh, li little uh, differences but um, in general the same or maybe if they find a partner who is local, right, and doesn't speak, or I don't know, Russian maybe, or English. Maybe, maybe, so. but uh, I don't think that um, about about part partners. It's a bit too early, uh, probably. But... It, 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 no, it's difficult for us, for example, us for expats, to find a partner here mm -hmm. from uh, local uh, local people because of difference. Um, in approach to the family uh, so they uh, we are more feministic ah okay they, so, so what's the main are, cultural difference it's about patriarchal yes oh i see okay so are you supposed to cook as a woman and uh, the man yes. makes money yes or something like that? you should you should you should be beautiful silent and maybe yes you should cook yes uh-huh yeah. You are not expected to work if you marry someone, or I don't know about work, <laughs> maybe, but I really don't know. But it's uh, difficult to sp uh, in the first moments. It's a bit difficult to speak with the local man, yeah, because yeah. they expect that you will be so so kind and so so um, soft, 
And when they realize that you are not, they, what, what the hell is going on? Why? <laughs> is, there, is there actually a big expat community in terms of different countries there? Uh, not only Russia or ex yes, here, here, is, uh, here is a lot of people from Turkey, I know, and from uh, Germany, but uh, it's more about older people. Um, and from Norwegian maybe norway and scandinavia maybe yeah, right? yes so, yes okay yes. not so much from north america right yes not so much mm -hmm. okay well maybe just general generally tell us what's the minimum budget that the person needs uh, in uh, it's, it, like, uh, it, 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 it really depends on your needs but for example for me minimum minimum uh, two thousand euros. Euros, right? That's about in. It, it, but it's for it's for me, for me and my two kids. But oh, it, it's, it's even for the like, whole family. Wow, that's much cheaper than yes, in Canada. But, yes, but it's minimum. Uh, it's uh, just I think apartment, mm -hmm. food, and maybe some kind of sports. And school so without, is free, right? School is free. yes, school is free. So without car, oil for car and so on, without uh, restaurants, uh, something like this. With restaurants, with all the stuff, okay, 3,000. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I but, mean, still, it's, it's a bit uh, more affordable yeah, than some places it, in North it, America. It depends. It depends what, what are you doing. Because, for example, um, I can uh, have a dinner... In expensive restaurants? Yeah, no, so I'm, I'm I, not talking about this. Like in, only in, the minimum, so, I would say, when people yeah, leave. If, 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 uh, uh, if we are talking about uh, ordinary. Modest. Uh, like a, yes, average people. So, yes, yeah, something. I think something about two and a half or three thousand. And you have a one-bedroom or two-bedroom apartment? Uh, two-bedroom apartment. For, for kids too right so and then how much was the initially the price when you rented it i think it was right now right now with all the costs it's about i think 800 oh 800 is not bad for it too <laughs> you know i live in vancouver like it's devastating with the market i mean it's so high like the prices are so high it's crazy so even a one bedroom costs like um right now probably a simple one bedroom in a fairly not too, not very far away area would cost mm -hmm. around, I don't know, eighteen hundred to thousand uh, here, like Canadian. It's a bit less than yours, but still, it's a lot. So, uh, it's a job. Yeah, it's a main problem. So, if you have no um, popular remote job, mm -hmm. here will be very difficult, because. Um, minimum salary here for ordinary people and ordinary Montenegrin people something about 400 euros mm -hmm. well, so average oh you month, mean like it's the this monthly salary yes oh my gosh. uh average average salary ordinary salary about 1000 1000 so it's not a very um rich country do they have so like a minimum you, wage or minimum uh, salary in general do they yes minimum minimum salary 400 euros per month so if you have no job uh i i mean if you have no skills particular skills i mm -hmm. don't know if you're not an expert in some area maybe it will be difficult here to find a job maybe especially if without the have... language right like if you don't yes. have local language yes and here is a specific mindset um polaco and uh, my my brother my brother my brother my other brother so you know like a family oh. uh you scratch my stuff. back i will scratch yes. yes 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 right so uh if you have remote job and or maybe you are a professional in some uh, area i don't know and uh, you are proud of yourself and you can um, provide your skills to other people so yeah montenegro is very good country that's a good point i, I wanted to ask about that too 
And uh, what about your 35 friends? Like, did they manage to, <laughs> to find something or they already had a remote job when they moved? No, not, not every one of them. I have architects. Uh, yes, they have uh, projects all around the world, architects, uh, fit a designer, one was my best friend, so um, another, the entrepreneurs, um, like an entertainment area, so they organize uh, events, uh, one girl, uh, she's home stager, uh, she helps uh, to make your flat, your apartment fancy. Yeah, yeah. So that's uh, they are professionals in a very um, specific areas. Mm -hmm. So that's why they really can find uh, a job and clients. Do they uh, speak speak the local language or are they not yet? English, not or? yet, not not yet, and not very good. Some of them uh, speak English. Not some of them, every one of them speak English. Mm -hmm. And one, uh, not one, maybe several of them, yes, they try to learn Serbian. Mm -hmm. Do you know if it's realistic to use Russian there somehow? Like, is there a, re a demand for Russian speaking? Uh, yes, you know, that's, so... that's, that's okay if um, they try to understand you. Mm -hmm. They really try to understand you, and languages uh, are very similar. Mm -hmm. So if they will speak slow, you will understand mm -hmm. them. And if you will speak slow, they will understand you. Oh, that's interesting. That's I didn't okay. know, yeah. Yeah, that's okay. But only slow. <laughs> mm -hmm. And with imagination, I guess, right? <laughs> yes, with imagination, with your fingers, uh, uh, legs, and eyes. Yeah, language, I think, is, is one of the main, really, challenges, like, in terms of adapting with both for adult, adults and kids, right, and work as well, so. Here is in Montenegro a very big Russian uh, community, so it's not wow. a problem uh, to, for example, to speak always with your uh, Russian friends. I guess with time, maybe some businesses will, will start you know, opening specifically aimed at the Russian community if it grows, right? Like that. Like but I think, yes, a real, it's one Russian it's, or something like that. or It's like an ordinary situation, but I don't think that uh, it's a good situation. Yeah, yeah. Because I absolutely sure that you should try to integrate yourself in the community, in the local community. If you want to stay here, if you want to stay here in Montenegro, you should integrate yourself. Yeah. So I guess anyone who wants to move to Montenegro, whether from Russia or from another country, because we are doing interview in English, actually, like probably many people. My apologize watch. for my English. <laughs> no, no, your English is great. So I just wasn't, I don't have a Russian speaking channel. So I, that's why I decided to do it in English. But overall, whoever moves to Montenegro uh, from another country, they should probably start learning language before they even move there right like to make sure they have some base I'm, I'm not sure that uh, um, yes if you have enough time to learn <laughs> been before sure you should but it's not a so necessary thing you know here i uh, i just uh, want to repeat because uh, here everyone know russia or English, uh -huh. Russian, because it's an ex Yugoslavia. Mm -hmm. You know, it's yeah, uh, yeah. very, very friendly for Russia Federation country in the past. So, um, all the generation they all speak uh, speak Russian. Mm -hmm. Younger people, no, but younger speak English. Feel free. Yeah, like they're so into YouTube, right? And so even through YouTube, YouTube is good, I think, for learning languages because you can put subtitles and young people, they pick up faster, right? So if they yeah. watch some kind of English speaking bloggers and I mean, Montenegro is not that far from Russia, right? So it's not like moving overseas, which is a different story, right? Like if you move to Canada or US or even maybe Asia or South America, it's really a, an expensive ticket. So you can't easily go back I, I was i suppose that it's easier for you to go back to russia right if you want to visit someone am i right or 
uh, sometimes I think that it's easier to to visit Australia. Oh, really? And cheap and cheaper, <laughs> you know, <gasps> for now. <laughs> Oh, because it's, it's like it's not a very yes. popular flight place, right? Like, oh. Uh, no, the, for now, the situation is difficult. I mean, uh, political situation and uh, tickets are very expensive. How much very was your ticket expensive. when you were flying? Uh... Uh, in, which, in which currency? Um. That's a good question. I I, I guess maybe <laughs> either rubles or or USD could be probably helpful. Uh, okay, uh, okay, in rubles uh, we'll convert Pro later. Approximately. In, in, yes, in rubles it was uh, for me uh, forty thousand in rubles forty thousand. Uh, that's approximately. I guess in Canadian that would be about. 800 that's a lot actually 800 canadian or but, yes it was in uh it was on the end of july so 40 000. high season and now, unexpected things yeah. yes yes now for example for me to visit my mom in russia mm -hmm. me and my two kids i should pay about 250 thousand oh my god <laughs> It's painful, right? So. Yes, you know, and so maybe easier to have a I mean, journey. Let's to face Australia. it, everywhere is very expensive now, right? Yes. So yes. tickets uh, overseas. Uh, first of all, some flights are cancelled. We are still yes. waiting with my parents to fly back to Moscow to visit because um, since last uh, March, so it's March 2022, pretty much one year already they have been sus suspended and the company doesn't even answer the questions. Like we, we can't get to the company to find out whether we still have those tickets, which is like a lot of money, right? Like it's a one way, it's our way back to Moscow, you know, for three people. They just shut up, you know, shut up, whatever it's called, you know, their customer service, like they just don't reply. They don't, it's impossible to get to them, which is very difficult at Lufthansa in our case yeah I guess tickets from to Europe also are more expensive people yeah. used to fly to Montenegro right like for a vacation yeah for... yeah yeah yeah, yeah. For, for vacation that's a perfect country to have a time here yeah yeah and from here I can have a, a lot of uh, I, I can journey uh, for example I know to Europe very cheap yeah yeah is the climate fast. very different from St. Petersburg or yeah on the pictures it looks <laughs> way better <laughs> uh, yeah uh here um, much warmer much warmer uh, especially uh in winter you know Masan, right? um, yeah they tried uh here local people tried to scare me they told me oh in winter you know so windy so cold i said okay more information please they oh in winter we have something about 10 degree i said plus <laughs> yes plus. I, I said okay okay 10 degree plus okay no, tell me more right <laughs> no you don't understand because so strong wind yeah okay I'm from St. Petersburg, actually. Yes, yes. I have to say I can relate to that because I live in, in Vancouver, BC, right? And um, in the last years, winds have become really, really strong and icy often, especially in spring, April, May, sometimes in the fall too. So I do understand that even plus 10 can feel quite unpleasant, you know? But, you know, we've been... We've lived in much colder areas. Yeah, and, yeah. Absolutely. No, here is absolutely perfect weather. For example... Uh, I decided not to buy a warm coat because I I don't need it really. Oh. Do you, do you, do you have a car or, or or you? What's the situation? I know you drove a car, right? Uh... Yes, but I uh, we share a car with my ex husband. So, oh, okay. Yeah. So usually you I bought it have, or you? Uh, you no, bought... he he brought my children by car oh, okay, from okay. russia you know it's our That's russian smart car. right so yes <laughs> i mean at least so less hustle with that right so yes yes so we share a car sometimes if i if i need to go somewhere i don't know to nearest town for example for sports so yes uh, give me a car and go 
I feel like maybe later we could do maybe an ep episode more about your life in Montenegro with some B-roll and stuff. <laughs> if you're yeah. interested, I keep waiting for your channel, you know. <laughs> <laughs> but it's a lot of work, I, I understand. What's your plan for traveling? Is there any place you want to travel within Montenegro and outside in the outside, next year? Outside. Let's, let's, let's speak about outside. Yes, I want to travel to Paris. Paris. I want to travel again to Budapest. I want to travel to Milan. Very cheap tickets, you know. Oh, really? Some about about twenty euro. Oh my gosh! It's like a bus. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, like a bus. Yes, so twenty euro, twenty euro from Podgorica, for example, to Milan. Oh, I I can't even Perfect. hear about this. <laughs> you know, the funny thing is, when I immigrated to Canada, I thought like finally i'll get a passport and start start traveling but things are so expensive here it's really for me it's always like not easy to save up money for that and then everything is far away right so basically <laughs> europe is the place where you travel I think, yes. a lot yes what i want to ask a question also in terms of psychology uh, do you think that moving to another country is a good way of self-development and transformation in some way for example in astrology there are some different cycles of life when transformation has to happen in your case like was it a good timing uh, was it a good decision and would you recommend mm -hmm. other people as well so okay i can't uh, actually recommend <laughs> So if if you if you can transform transform yourself and make yourself better in Saint Petersburg, please move to another. Yeah, because another way. people don't come. And, to but, but, questions. but 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 you know, if for example you feel that this town is bad for you, really bad for you, so move to another town. Why are you struggling? I I really don't understand people who, uh, you know man or women or woman lives in her town or his and say oh it's an awful town i can be my best and i don't know so change the town if you if you can't be happy in your country okay change your country try to find another place but i have a very very good example here in montenegro mm, not my case uh, because actually i think that uh, for me, it's not a transformation, mm -hmm. but it's a kind of mm, supporting my uh, one side and supporting my another side. So, uh -huh. you, you know, it's not a transformation. I'm it's like juggling between your desires. Like, and... Yes, yes, yes. It's okay. So I'm pretty the same as I was in St. Petersburg, Yaroslav and so on. But uh, maybe my direction of movements, is, uh, they are different. But I have uh, my friend, my best friend here, uh, Sofia, and she said that here in Montenegro, she does things that she couldn't imagine doing in Russia. That was that was my next question, actually. Yes. <laughs> she said to me last week, Ola, I I really can't understand. For example, uh, she she did a very 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 um, she she had a very good proposal. Uh, I mean, business proposal from her partner, and uh, she did a lot of things. And she said, "Oh my God, I really don't understand why I didn't." it before why and that's about energy of country energy of cities energy of your community of people around you so if you don't feel this energy in your country in your city okay move 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 do something well i would also still add that it's, there's locational astrology <laughs> i mean yes. do you do you believe in it more than before like were you skeptical about this or you were kind of you know yes you know, like I, I, yeah I, 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 I was a bit skeptical about uh, um, this part of astrology so that you maybe will feel yourself like in no th this was um too mysterious for me yeah too mysterious for me and but for now, us, it's, for me, it's, it's astrology. It's hard to promise yes. something like that. I just yes, look at absolutely. opportunities, right? So it balancing some things. Yeah, but, but you here, never know how really, to... yes, yes. But here, really, I understand that um, you know when you have 
uh, different kind of information, it helps you. When yeah, you yeah. have one source of information, it's not enough to make a decision. So yeah. you should think, read, maybe astrology, yes, that's okay and that's good. Relocation yeah, yeah. astrology for me works. I mean, it's also not the astrology like forecast from a YouTube or something like that, which can also work for some people if they say it resonate in some way. It can be helpful. I'm not opposed to those. But in general, it's like looking very in depth into all possible charts, you know. So I think that's. Mm. Yeah, and it's very important to understand that it's not a promise from you. No, no. it's not a promise. It's like, it's like maybe there will be such kind of opportunities okay pay attention so pay attention to this pay attention to that pay attention to that okay i can tell what to use the place for even if there are harder positions as well because uh let's say if there were 10 different places maybe i would choose i would recommend you rather some other place i don't know mm -hmm. right? it depends but also it's important what the person is looking for and i knew that you work for example was important for you and also you still have kids to provide for right so yeah it's important i wanted to ask you following up on your um on the previous question is that what would you do in this new place what do you think you would never do when you were in russia like what part of you changed or maybe I don't know, maybe you would do in Russia something that you wouldn't do no, here, no, right? No, 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 so... um, Here I became um, much, much more slower. Much you more? What? I... Slower. 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 Mm, okay, yeah, slower. I expected that. I told yes, you. <laughs> yes, 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 slower. But, you know, at the same time, I have a lot of directions of uh, my work, my hobbies, sport, and so on. And I can't uh, for now realize and explain how it can be combined with each other. For example, yeah. I have a lot of time in the mornings, a lot of time. Uh -huh. Children start um, school at 7 and 30, I start my job at 10. I have two and a half hours between these two oh, events okay. and I have a lot of time. Well, I for some people, take... two hours is not a lot of time. <laughs> you know, you, I know I have... you are very productive. <laughs> yes, I have time, for example, to go for a jogging. Okay, clean, one, yeah, day. Clean, one, one day. Okay, another day I have time to meet my friends and take a cup of coffee before my work. Yeah, you know, between school and my work, coffee with friends. What? It's unbelievable for St. Petersburg, for example. No way with a coffee, a coffee in the morning with friends. What? Here is absolutely norm. Actually, Absolutely in terms of not. commuting, in, was it? Does it? Is it a big difference in terms of commuting? Like St. Petersburg, uh, maybe that as well. Like, is it everything is much smaller, right? And in, in where you yes, so... absolutely sure. You have here we have a small cities. I uh, from my um, from my flat from my location to the city center. It took me maybe twenty minutes. It's like towns mainly, right? Like in in the country or villages. Yes, that, that, that twenty minutes. Um, I don't know. It's not across the city. It's uh, along the beach. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the mountains, very beautiful picture around you. I know, and I you saw go, the pictures. I thought, like, oh my gosh. And you go to take a coffee with your friends. Perfect. You take a coffee and go back. Absolutely cool. Yeah, yeah. So, it's... and at, yeah, at the same time, I have tennis, running, uh, football with my friends coffee with my friends poker with my friends uh, ultimate frisbee uh, in another city i have journeys i have there 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 but slower <laughs> okay <laughs> so let's say if uh, to add something in the future what would you add to your current life <laughs> I don't know. Uh, actually, for, for now, now it's cool and it's 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 yes, yes. For, for for now, you know, for now I'm like an explorer, and I I try everything. I try uh, everything that they 
I don't know that you can imagine um, help someone uh, with marketing for their website okay help with uh, negotiations okay uh, help with startups okay help with job with that and so on so on so on so I try I try I connect with people um, try to build a community here and it's very interesting maybe in future really I should do refuse someone or to reject some activities just to, to free because, up your time a little bit yes more, right? yes because it's really sometimes sometimes it's too much mm -hmm. but it's too interesting yeah it felt very active to me like as a place yeah. like definitely explorative for energy there well there's one more question also which i wanted to ask about swimming because i dream about swimming living somewhere where i could swim can you actually swim like is montenegro good for that so and in what season so you like swimming yourself or last time i was sw swimming in the sea i think january 20 oh this but, year uh, yes this year but it was awfully cold water unbelievable cold it was like you know we put our body down and it was <laughs> well i mean for, for those who are not into these extremes like yes. hey, what's the season yes. to go there for swimming usually or uh, is loc it popular locals, for beach vacations? locals says that uh locals say that uh from the end of april till the end of september okay but but I I uh, weren't here uh, in April, <laughs> but I uh, w I was swimming I think that in November that was okay. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, in the beginning of November. But you know, it was not a hot hot water a hot uh, weather. But uh, it's okay if you want, you can. Mm -hmm. Interesting. So it's like a longer period of yes. time than in some other places. Yes. Oh, that's great to know okay so i don't know if you want to add anything else it was really a pleasure i think we spent like uh, over an hour a lot of things that i have to think of how to put it all together maybe timestamps could help people if they're looking for specific things i think so yeah all right so so nice to see you i was hoping to see you nice kids, but I, I think they're probably sleeping right so yes <laughs> I wish you all the best in Montenegro and look forward to seeing more pictures, you know, on Instagram. Do you want to, to give your contact information if people want to connect to you or maybe um, on Instagram? Or? Instagram is okay. Yeah. And I just want to say, guys, uh, Ola is not specializing on consulting on immigration. So keep that in mind. <laughs> no, 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 no. no. <laughs> I'm, I'm a specialist in project management. Yes. That's my, that's my stuff. <laughs> yes and also you did some radio work too right so do you guys it was uh, in the or... past yes in the past it was a radio work uh, now it's a very 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 rare podcast but yes sometimes it's okay. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. I, you are kind of more like a media person to me and <laughs> business and things like that maybe someday you'll start creating your programs too right so <laughs> oh, maybe maybe Everything is possible in this world. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Especially in, in, in where you moved, right? <laughs> yes. <laughs> All right. Yes. Uh, thank you so much. And uh, look forward to talk to you again. Yeah. Thanks Bye, everyone. A lot. Thanks for nice conversation. Us.